Welcome to Body Electric. Today we'll be working our abdominals, outer thighs, and inner thighs, also pectorals and biceps. And for today's workout, you'll need your bar, some weights, and a mat. And now, here's your host, Margaret Richards. Hi everyone, this is Body Electric. We are the team of Jane, Kenya, and Maggie. And of course, you're part of the team, so let's warm up and work out. Reach and pull, that's the movement. Reach and pull. Up, side, down, other side. Let's go. Reach and pull. Up, side. Now let's punch it. And stretch. Down. Let's try to keep the shoulders as forward as possible. Oh yeah, from the beginning and there you go, up, side, other way, punch, and stretch it. Once more each side. Hup. Turn it to the side and press the heel down. The front knee is over the ankle. Adjust so that you're squared off the hips and shoulders. Face in the same direction. Take it back. Lift the toe toward the calf and again square it off. Both hips should be equally facing the same direction. Other side. Let's make sure that that front knee is over the ankle. That's real important. And back. Let's lift the body some. Don't have to lean forward a lot. To the front, let's roll it down. Go to a flat back and all the way down. Drop the head and come up. Once again, and just kind of melt down into it. Let's punch it up and up and up and up. Make the movements long, and let's punch it down. We're gonna work out now, so please join us. You are formally invited. This is the uh, lower body fiesta time. Um, and if you have a lower body, come on and bring it to the party. We're going to do the abdominal muscles, outer thighs and inner thighs. So there you have the agenda. Okay, let's open the elbows, drop the head back, and let's go all the way to the top of the range. That's our beginning point. Take it halfway to the top and halfway and then to the top. Keep that space under your chin open. Keep a right angle going there. Down and lift. Breathe out as you lift. Your hips and your lower back remain on the floor. But we're going to work the, uh, concentrate on the lower abdominal muscles. Okay. 
down, lift the right knee, and down, lift the left knee. Can you, you have, you're in the uh, sister uh, rose chair. Anyone wants to know their fortunes read? Call Kenya. Down, lift the knee, keep going. Lift the knee to about hip, right over the hip. And lift the body at the same time. Down and lift. Without pulling on your head, ears back. Somehow, if you put your ears back, your head will follow. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the hands under the hips and bring the legs overhead. You can have them side by side or cross. Whatever, as we say, floats your boat. Here we go, lifting toward the ceiling. Lift and down, reach out. Make sure the lower back stays on the floor. The legs don't go over the, the face, but rather try to keep them kind of over the hips. And breathe. Okay, last time. And reach. Okay, let's place the feet on the floor and kind of relax the knees. Put the hands behind the head again. At the top, halfway down. You should be focusing on your lower abdominal muscles. Okay, let's just hold at the top. Hold for three, for two, and take it down. Take a long stretch. You can drop your knees to one side and the arms to the other. Okay. Continuing the fiesta, we're going to work the outer thighs. What I'd like you to do is have your knees in front of your hips and your feet on your knees so your leg is forming the letter L for leg. Reach forward. Hey, it looks good for me, okay? Up and down. Now your abdomen is in. The knees again are right in front of the hips, and the ankle is under the knee. It's slow and controlled. Squeeze your gluteal muscles, and you want to lift the entire leg kind of on the same plane, so the foot is not higher than the knee. Hold it up here, and now reach with the foot, and reach, and pull. So now your feet are about, your knees are one over the other, but if that's too severe an angle for you, you can bring the leg back a little. You know, we have to respect the fact that we're all built differently, and some of us have longer limbs and a different, a whole different balance going to the body, so what might work for me may not work for you. Okay, hold it, flex the foot, small movement up and down. Keep reaching forward, check your form, head to toe. And rather than concentrate on uh, getting fatigued, I want you to think about how wonderful the opportunity is that you have to work out and get stronger. And every little bit helps. After doing this exercise, well, you'll be just a little bit stronger than you were before doing it, guaranteed. Let's change it and pull and push. And if you have the leg weights, lucky you, because you get to really challenge yourself even more. We're not wearing the leg weights this time because I felt if you really concentrate on the muscles that you're working, you can get a great workout without having any weights. Last few. Up and down. Keep it small and controlled. If your leg's a little shaky, see if you can work through it with ever so much pride. 
Okay, last two, and last one. Bring the knee in, and down. Before we go to the other leg, of course we're going to stretch, of course, but I forget to stretch. Okay, sit into the working leg. Sit into it, and I want you to kind of feel, I was gonna say feel square, but I don't want you to take that personally. Okay, let's go to the other side. Who said my jokes were corny? Who said that? I want to meet the person that said that. The knees in front of the hips, the ankles under the knees. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Up. You want to lift the foot so that it's on the same level as the knee. Up and down and push the top hip forward. So the knees are one over the other, the hips are one over the other. Separate the shoulder blades. The bottom position is not a rest, it's an opportunity to lift the leg right back up. Extend, and in, and out. The abdomen is pressed in against your back. In and press. Let me remind you that with any of the exercises we do, you should feel the fatigue, but no ouch kind of pain. If there's anything that hurts you, then you, the exercise is not for you or you're not doing it correctly. But we never encourage anything that hurts. It's just the fatigue. Up and down. Breathe. Come on, lift the leg from the outer thigh. The second leg syndrome is hitting us. Bend and bend and press. Pull, push. Okay, now, if you were in a contest and you could win a million dollars if you finished this exercise and did it correctly. See, you, you could, right? And this. Uh, hold on, hang on. Keep reaching forward. How about three more? One. Two. Three, bring the leg in. Put it down only if you choose to. <laughs> and sit up and take a stretch. You know, if you were wearing the leg weights or if you were not wearing the leg weights, that one gets like right in there. <laughs> it's like right in there, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not even gonna look at the expressions. I'm not even gonna look at the expressions on their faces because I don't think it's gonna be pretty and I don't wanna deal with it. <laughs> okay, inner thigh time. Again, hands under the hips, the feet flex, toes pull down. Here we go, and it's out and out, pull in and in. Very, very important now is that the ankles are over the hips and not <clears throat> forward. If sometimes I found uh, like I'm repeating things often, it's better to say it than not to say it, because I know many of you have been working out with us for a long time, but some of you are newcomers, and I don't want to miss anything that's important that you need to think about. Out. At any rate, any time you do the exercise should be like a first time. You should be totally concentrating on your form and seeing where you could possibly make improvements. Out for two, halfway up. When I say halfway, I mean to that shoulder width. Leading with the inner thighs.
Hold it, point, and flex. Just hold it. Okay, now we're going to make little circles. And point your feet. Now when you make these circles, I don't want you to drop your legs forward because you'll arch your back. And reverse, out, in, out. And again, reverse. Just remember that toe dancing on the ceiling. This is dancing on the ceiling. And reverse. Kenya, I see your little feet. They just don't know what direction to go, do they? It's so sad. Flex the feet. It's so sad not to see, you know, what the other people are doing in your group. In. It would be like friends, like if there was no picture for you to watch and you just get to hear my voice, you know? It misses something in the translation. Okay, last few, bring it in slowly, flex the feet, bring it in slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, and then. Okay, time for the, uh, almost time for the siesta. Say you want to do push-ups, well, you've come to the right place. Let's uh, get in the push-up position. So we're going to do some push-ups, and then we're going to lie on our back and work the chest with the weights. Little combo. Here we go. Down and up. Now, don't be timid on this. If you want to extend the legs to the back and do the uh, more advanced push-ups, don't let it stop you. And down. Try not to drop your head down, but keep a straight line from your head to your tailbone. And your abdomen is supporting your back. Or let's hope it is. And all the way down. And up. Okay, let's change positions so that we're on our back with the weight. Now, it's very important that you bend your knees. And let's place one on top of the other. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Now, we're moving the weights directly over the chest and together. So let the chest muscles be the force that moves the arms. Contract and expand. Let's do the same thing with the palms facing away from the body. In and press. Keep going. I want you to really squeeze the pectoral muscles. Squeeze and press. Make sure that your lower back is on the floor. And let's do one more uh, series of push-ups. Left when there's a right neck. Just a few. The hands are about uh, shoulder width. Last two. And one. And all the way back. But don't get too comfy because we're going right into the bicep exercise. So. Grab your weapon of choice. Let's hope it's a heavy weapon. Okay. 
shoulders down, bend the knees, palms facing the ceiling, up and down, up and down. Tuck under, bend the knees. Now we're going to do three, so it's one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Relax your fingers, up and down, and squeeze. Chest is lifted, shoulders are down. And up and down, and squeeze and squeeze. Keep it going. Up and squeeze. And breathe. You have to keep checking your form, keep checking that your hands are relaxed. Okay, to the side, slowly, down, middle, up, and middle, and down. Tuck your hips under, lift your chest, feel the biceps doing their thing. The elbows are right by your sides. Your elbows and your sides are friends. All the way down, don't shortcut. Full range of motion, and all the way. Three, up, down, and all the way up. Oh yeah. Up, down, and squeeze. Down, up, and down. You could actually feel yourself getting stronger. Right? It's not just me, is it? Okay, slowly from the bottom and up. Slowly. Slowly use your biceps to get the arm all the way up and squeeze and down. Last time, all the way up. Use it or lose it. And down. Good. Dr. Miriam Nelson of Tufts University tells us that working out with weights can improve brittle bones, weak, withering muscles, and poor balance. Dr. Nelson studied 40 healthy women aged 50 to 70 who were at least five years past menopause sedentary and not taking estrogen. Half remained sedentary and the other half performed high intensity muscle strengthening exercises. After one year, the exercises had denser bones, better balance, and stronger, more massive muscles. The non-exercises got worse. According to John Delves of Walking Magazine, no one is too feminine or too old to lift weights, but you sure can be too young to have old bones. If you're working out with us on a regular basis and you're making lots of progress, well, you should feel very proud of yourself because that's a great accomplishment. So with that, let's cool down. Let's bring the feet together and reach long.
the hands and open the bag, tuck the hips. And again, all the way up. And to the back. Follow the arm, and again. And change. And let's open the back. Elbows high, stretch and stretch. Overhead. And the hands behind the back. Bring the shoulders down, shoulder blades together. It's an all new season of Small Business 2000 coming up next. And let's roll it down, go to a flat back. Head up last. The ear to the shoulder. And the shoulders to the ears. And deep breath. And last time. 